Philippians 4, 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your forbearing spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, let your mind dwell on these things. I'll be honest, the last couple of days, I have not been letting my mind dwell on those things. Something happened the other day that hurt my heart. And I've been letting that replay in my head over and over and over again. And instead of me giving it to the Lord, I've been holding on to it, grabbing it, thinking about it. How could I have responded? What could I have done differently? How could I have handled that situation better? What should I have done? What should I have said? What should I do now? Should I try to respond now? Should I write a letter? Should I send an email? Should I send a text? Should I try to go talk to him? Should, what should I do? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And I've let it bog me down and jumble up my mind and get my emotions all out of whack and get my focus off of Jesus. And I lost my peace for a couple of days. I'll be honest, I'll be real. And so here I am, I'm repenting before you, before all of God's creation, before TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and whoever sees this. Um, I repent. I know in my heart what to do. I tell people what to do. I know in my head what I'm supposed to do. But I failed miserably the last couple of days. I let my mind get all jumbled up with stuff. And that's what the enemy wants us to do. He wants us to think about things however he thinks he can get us, whatever our weakness is. And to be honest, I've showed him, I've proven to him that my weakness is that when somebody comes at me and tells me things or, or wants to... Um, say something to me in, in anger or whatever. I am an introvert and I take it all in and I think about it and I think about it and I ponder on it and I just, and I get my focus off of the one who created me and I start thinking about inward things and, and I get lost in myself. Some of you have a different problem and instead of you taking it in, you pour it out in outbursts and anger and stuff. But um, either way, we're both wrong. I was wrong for internalizing it. I was wrong for just mulling it over and over. I'm not saying we shouldn't reflect. I, I do believe that everybody should reflect. We should all think about our actions and, and what we do in life. And did, did we say that with love and kindness? Did we do something out of love and kindness or did we do it out of ill refute? You know, I, I think we should reflect. But I'm the type of person that if you tell me I messed up and I made a mistake, I'm going to take that and I'm going to, woo, you know, I'm going to beat myself up with it and really bog myself down with it. And that's something I'm trying to overcome. I'm a work in progress. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But the word says rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. So, you know, even if we do mess up, the best thing to do is just admit it. Ask for forgiveness if we need to ask for forgiveness. Repent to the Lord. And then start thanking him for what he's done for us. It says rejoice in the, in the Lord always. And again, I will say rejoice. Because we have grace. We have mercy. 
It says, Let your forbearing spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing. So whatever it is we're worrying about, whatever it is we're letting us get us down, whatever it is we're, we're bogged down with, whatever it is that's stealing our peace and stealing our joy, we've got to give that over to the Lord. We've got to come to Him with thanksgiving, with prayer and supplication, and we've just got to say, you know what, God? I need your help. I need you. I just can't do this by myself, Lord. I need you to help me with this. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling burdened. I'm feeling like a train wreck, God, and I need you to come save me and heal me and deliver me. I need you. And Lord, I thank you that you are going to. I thank you that you're a good God. I thank you that Jesus came and he lived on this earth and he died on the cross for my sins. And I thank you that I have a roof over my head. However it is, thank him for the things you have. Thank him for the things that he's given you. And I'm talking to me too. You know, get out of our head. That's what we've got to do is get out of our own mind. Me too. Me too. And it says, when we present our requests to God with thanksgiving, the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, means we can't even understand the peace. It's beyond man's ability to understand. You are not smart enough, nor do you have enough wisdom or divine revelation knowledge to understand the peace that God can give you, even in the midst of a storm, even in the midst of a, a trial or a tribulation, God's peace is insurmountable and it's inexplicable and it'll guard our hearts. But we got to get out of here and we got to think about things that are true. What is true? How do you know what's true? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father except by me. We get in the Word. That's what's true. So we think about what's true. We think about what's honorable. We think about what is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute. We don't let that negative scene play over and over in our heads because that's not true. That's not lovely. That's not honorable. That's not of good repute. That's not of excellence. And it's not worthy of our praise. So we got to get out of our head all that mumbo jumbo that we got going on, those 90 million thoughts going 100 miles to a second. We've got to get out of our heads, get out of our own emotions, start thanking God, praising Him, asking Him to help us and then allow his peace to dwell inside of us. And I'm talking to me. I messed up. I told somebody else to have peace this week. And then I lost my own peace. So I repent. And, I, and I'm getting back up. And I'm saying, Lord, help. Lord, I need you. Please help me. Thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what Jesus has already done. Thank you that I have food to eat and clothes to wear. And thank you, Lord, that that I have a roof over my head. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just thank him. Just begin to thank him for the things you do have. Think about what's true. If you're like me, you got to get out of your own head sometimes. And get in the word. Get in the word. That's what I have to do. Put you some praise and worship music on. Start thanking God and praising Him. I had to do that today. I had to get out of my own head and put my praise and worship music on and get in the word. And you know what? I feel a lot better now. I have a whole lot more peace. And my joy is coming back. Thank you, Jesus.